Today, let's make a Christmas strawberry and blueberry strudel. It's going to be crunchy, filled with two different types of cream, pastry cream, whipping cream, some beautiful lush strawberries and blueberries. All right guys, so for our Christmas strawberry and blueberry strudel, we'll be using two different creams. The first cream is pastry cream, and the second cream is your regular whipped cream. We'll have to make the pastry cream first because this will need time to set and chill in the fridge. Okay, now for that, here I have two cups of milk into a saucepan, about a tablespoon of vanilla extract. You can use vanilla beans if you have them, um, vanilla extract or vanilla essence, okay? Now, keep this on a medium heat until it comes to a nice sort of simmer, okay? We don't want to overboil the milk. Now, here I have four egg yolks, and to this, we will be adding about six tablespoons of sugar, about three tablespoons of cornstarch, and a pinch of salt. Stir up the eggs until we get this nice sort of creamy consistency, and the color of the eggs will sort of turn pale as well. All right, once you see the milk starts to bubble, you can remove the milk from the saucepan. Very gently stream the milk into the eggs, not too much at once, because what we're doing now is just dampening the eggs. Yeah, you don't want to cook the eggs with the hot milk. Once we've got about half of the milk inside the egg mixture, we can now pour this back into the milk. Turn the heat back on, and now we whisk until the egg thickens up and become this beautiful, luxurious pastry cream. Okay, once you start to see the pastry cream bubble, you can turn it off, and now we're adding in butter. This is about three tablespoons of butter. Whisk it all in. So the butter will give that cream that nice shine. Turn off the heat, whisk up the butter until it's nice and combined, and then we can remove it into a bowl. Set this aside and let this cool in room temperature until it has completely cooled down, and then we'll put it in the fridge to set. All right, so now, for the fruits, okay? Um, you can use basically any type of fruits you want. You can use raspberry. Uh, I intended to use raspberry, but somehow I couldn't find raspberry. Uh, this time around. So I got strawberries and blueberries instead. Okay, you can use peaches, you can use um, poached pears. I think that would work really nicely as well. So really anything you'd like, okay? So now we've got some strawberries. I am just going to quarter them. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna sweat them for a bit. That way we get that nice sort of shine on the strawberry. All right, so we get these strawberries into the saucepan. So I like to do this with uh, fruits, uh, like berries, because it's not all the time you get sweet strawberries, especially here in Malaysia. Uh, so by adding some sugar, you give, you sort of balance out this acidity in the strawberry. So I'm going in with three tablespoons of sugar. That will just sweat that strawberry out. So we're not really cooking the strawberry. I'm not really gonna get it to become like quilly, uh, where it's really soft. But just until the sugar is sort of melted and the strawberry has this beautiful, coating of shine. We're done. All right, turn off the heat and dish it up. Look at how beautiful the strawberries become. Okay, now we'll set that aside and let it cool down. Dust the board, any store-bought puff pastry. You want to roll it out to something that's a little bit thinner, but gently though, yeah? You want to maintain a nice square shape if you can. I'm just making some markings about four inch wide, and then we cut. Cut them into halves. Place them on a tray. You wanna make sure you leave a little bit of a space between them because they will expand. Get another sheet of baking paper. Get something heavy to sit on it. And now it goes into the oven. The oven is preheated to 220 degrees Celsius and it'll take about 15 to 20 minutes. Now we add in one cup of whipping cream and two tablespoons of icing sugar. All right, there we go. Once you have like stiff peaks or like, you know, you can put it over your head and it doesn't fall, you're good to go. Keep this in the refrigerator until you're ready to pipe. Now, if you're only using one type of cream for your strudel and you only want to use whipping cream, it's fine. Um, 
This is where you can add in like some flavorings, maybe uh, vanilla essence as the most basic, or you can be creative with it. I'm not adding in any sort of flavorings because I want that taste of cream because I already have uh, pastry cream that I've made. So we would have like a variety of different tastes of cream. There we go, beautiful. Now we've got to let this cool down until it's completely cool before we start piping in the cream in. If not, the cream's just gonna melt away. All right, so now we've got the pastries all nice and cooled down. You can see the layers nice and crisp. Now this way, your strudel is gonna stay nice and crisp. Yeah, if you don't press it down and the pastry rises, uh, you're gonna get very flaky, but once you put the cream and everything on, it might not necessarily take the weight. Pipe the cream. And pastry cream. Now we're going on top with some blueberry and the strawberries that we made earlier on. Just strawberry, just dap it a little bit because I don't want the, the syrup to stain the cream. Get one layer up. And we're going to repeat that process. Now I've got cream on this side and pastry cream on the other side for the first layer. I'm gonna swap sides now. And same thing, swap sides with the berries as well. Doesn't that look beautiful? And it's the thing, it really is very, very simple to make. Now I'm just gonna repeat the process until I'm done with everything. Lastly, a little bit of icing sugar and just let it snow, guys, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and this is my Christmas strawberry and blueberry strudel. Enjoy. All right, now after all that work, well, it's not really a lot of work, right? It's not a lot of hard work, but it's a beautiful thing. And to think that, you know, just put it in your mouth, See the layer of crisps that are in there, absolutely delicious. With the beautiful pastry cream paired with the whipping cream, you've got that nice balance of something that's rich, custody, and then something that's a bit lighter, like a whip, just regular sweetened whipped cream. Mm -hmm. mm. Got the savouriness from the puff pastry, the crunch, the cream, the richness, the, the luxe of it. And then you have the sort of fresh, sweet, sour berry. Put all of that together happening all at the same time in your mouth. It's just an absolute delight to eat. And guys, if you've enjoyed this content, you think it's added value to you, don't forget to click the like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, and I'll see you guys next week. Before I go, I just want to wish each and every one of y'all a Merry Christmas. Thank you for your love and support. Peace.